You guys have no idea. I'm telling you, you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about when you get to lunch, when you say, my goodness, coach. He says, why didn't you tell us? I said, I couldn't. I was sworn to secrecy. You understand? But I can tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, that you're going to wish that whatever I'm asking you to do today, you're going to wish you'd have done more of it right now. You'd have wish you'd have done more of it, talked to more people, went to more people's houses. I don't care. Maybe wear a fireman suit and go there at one in the morning and say, what are you doing? Your financial life is on fire. Wake up. Open the door. I'm trying to save y'all. Y'all going to financially die. Yes. Because I guarantee you, if I, if, if I go back now and take Google, Microsoft, AOL, is that right? Amazon.com, Intel with the Pentium chip. Hey, what if it was an Intel meeting? You understand it? Before the chip came out and somebody showed you that chip, you couldn't hardly even look at it, right? Just like you're doing now. What is the chip? And you couldn't look at it and somebody wanted you to invest in that company and they said, this Intel chip is a chip that's going to make all the computers work faster, smarter, and better. It's going to change the world. And you say, I don't know about it. I invest in that. See, ladies and gentlemen, I could be here all day telling you things that have changed the world based on technology that ain't none of us ever invested in. And the, and the truth about it, we never even invited. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, here's your chance because you've been invited now. And, and, and I think more so you have the opportunity to invite people. And I think whatever y'all need to do, I don't, I, that's why I use the example, I don't care if you need to go over somebody's house and apologize at one in the morning or at seven in the morning, whatever you need to do, and wear a policeman outfit, I don't care, whatever it is, and say, wake up. He said, what, the feds is coming, wake up. They're coming to get everything you got because this is what happens. Opportunity, we, our, our, our opportunities are always stolen from us. Because of the lack of knowledge, the lack of faith, the lack of understanding. <laughs> See, I always believe, I, I really believe this and I hold this true. Faith is the evidence of things not seen but yet hopeful. So if you'll get on an airplane, because if I ask you how does an airplane fly, you understand it, and you can't explain it to me, then I'd like to know why in the world would you get on one? Because it seems to me that's the most dangerous feat of all, is to get in a big giant metal container and go about six, seven hundred miles an hour in the air and not even understand how it works. <laughs> Think about it, right? right? Yet you do it and you pay for it. <laughs> and if you got enough faith to do that, and don't tell me that that ain't technology. That's right. Am I right? Right? That's right. But you don't believe in the holographic chip. <laughs> See, the thing is, we got to get serious about what we do. Does that make sense? Yes. That's the thing. The technology is coming, ladies and gentlemen. These chips are going to go around the world. As I told you, I have people that are flying in from Canada, Germany, Africa, Saudi Arabia. Are you listening to me? Trinidad, the Virgin Islands, ladies and gentlemen. All of these people are already coming as retailers. So, again, your cousin and them that live down the street that don't want to come to the meeting, we're not really interested in that. Do you understand that? We'll pray for them. That's fine. But you have to realize, ladies and gentlemen, just like you'll get on the airplane, you'll use one of these chips one day. But you won't make no money. Just like, you know, we don't make no money now from all the new technology, do we? All the phones we got and every technology, but we sure got them, don't we? Well, here's your chance. Here's your chance to put your mind, your heart, and your money where your mouth is. There's a person that did what I suggest a lot of you do. He went out and brought in as many people as he can to introduce him to business. It's called going wide. That's what that wider die stands for, is going out personally, bringing in as many people as you can wide early. Most people like to wait until the word is out and then everybody's looking for the chips. And then here you come, now you're competing where now you have no competition. See, none of you have any competition. So you need to be chipping everybody up first. So when somebody tells them, say, oh no, I've already been chipped up. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's why you should be chipping people. So every key person, business person, accountant, CPA, top-notch business person, athlete, uh, pastor, whoever you know that has great credibility, you need to go get them first. Does that make sense? And what a lot of you are doing is you're waiting because you're waiting for something to validate you. 
And if you notice that when I was chipped up, Yvette and I didn't wait for nobody, did we? I didn't wait for y'all to tell me was it good. I already knew it worked. So I just knew that whoever did it first, that was the person that was going to have the greatest what? Benefit. But the biggest thing is, is, is that I really want to help people. I really want to change people's lives because the thing is, once you understand how this works, it's not hard to do. If you go get 15 and 15, then you'll get 30% of every retailer you bring in check. That means you get 30% of their check. Company's got to match it. Not, not you, the company does. That means they pay you a $1,000 check, they got, to give, they got to give me $300. Is that right? So if your person makes $300, makes $1,000, they give you $300. Well, guess what? What if they have somebody that they brought in and that person makes $1,000, then they have to give what? You $200. So you're getting paid off everybody's check. Are you listening? Listen to me, all the way down seventh levels. Does that make sense? People don't understand how big that is because a lot of y'all keep thinking that the levels run out. No, they don't because I put people up under you. You're putting people up under you. So somebody might be 14 levels down, but they're only four levels for me. Y'all get that? Mm -hmm. The other thing is, if you're second level to me, doesn't matter how deep and big your business go, I still get a percentage of what your check is. So if your, your business keeps getting bigger, your check getting bigger, then what's happening to my check? So what's going to happen to this business if y'all build this network? Because if everybody keeps bringing in more people and their check gets bigger, then you're just going to get a bigger check too because we're getting a percentage of their what? Okay. Income. That's why we're putting people up under people. That's why we really want your check to go up, kid. People got to figure out, we really want y'all to make a lot of money. Trust me, I want all y'all. If you Who want to make a million dollars for the years up? I'm with you. I want you to know, coach is with you. And guess what? Your uplines are with you. We're all with you. You understand that? So you got to understand that this is an amazing compensation. I don't think there's ever a more powerful compensation plan than ever what Ciara put. And the reason why Ciara can do that, ladies and gentlemen, because she already knows that it's got a winner. If you went and got 15 and 15 and taught everybody to get four retailers and make $150 a month part-time, you make $1.8 million a month. And you could do it in three years. Now, if you don't want to do that much, then do half of that much. How's that? How about one-third of that much? How about just 10% of it? How many of y'all I take 10% of it, right? Huh? 180000 a month, right? Y'all wouldn't know what to do. Y'all would never show up again to another meeting. I know y'all. We'd never see y'all again. You, I said, where you at? You like, child, I ain't even in the country. What y'all talking about? My check was $180,000 that month. I will see y'all this summer. I'll show up for one more meeting. Maybe twice a year, that's it. You got 36 months, ladies and gentlemen, and guess what? If you, all the opportunities to be a millionaire right there will start diminishing. Just like at one point in time, if you'd have worked with Ray Kroc or one of the McDonald's, you could have been a millionaire, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't do a fellow application today talking about being a millionaire, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, they give you a job, right? <laughs> you can run the McDonald's, but I don't, right? But, but you only one is, is, is a little difficult now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But 25 years ago, any one of us could have been a McDonald's owner. Right. But then we didn't want to do it, right? Because right. we wanted to wear a silly hat, right? I mean, that was the thing. You know, it was the, it was the, it was the clown. You know, the clown. I had the issue with the clown. You know, I, I like the million dollars. I don't like the clown. Is that right? <laughs> you have to recognize, ladies and gentlemen, that we have to we have to really look at what marketing really is.